my wonderful ravens welcome back to my channel my name is Chantel and today we are going to make something different we're stepping away from the Ravenclaw common room for a moment and we're going to make a tabletop gaming piece based on a wandering mausoleum from the game Elden Ring I'm sure you've probably all heard of it it's all the rage at the moment so let's go so let's start with a simple octagon the measurements are top to bottom eight inches and the sides are three inches wide i need to cut another one because i want to make it so the top comes off like you see in the game so i can remove the legs and then have the mausoleum itself sitting on the floor so i need to cut another one and then we can start building the legs and the mausoleum all right i found this piece of styrofoam which i made a an, well elevated platform out of um so i have two of these now so this one will be the base for the legs this one will be the top where the mausoleum is gonna sit and this is the base of the mausoleum so next to it will be like rocks and foliage and all that kind of stuff and then on top of here i'm gonna build up the mausoleum so I had to cut this in two parts because that wasn't wide enough, but that's okay. I'm just gonna glue that together. So now I can just attach this to the base. There we go. And I will build up the mausoleum just on the inside there. So basically the wall will sit there. The wall will sit there and not on the very edge so i can build that up the mausoleum walls will be about two inches wide just gonna cut strips that are two inches wide and then i can take the paper off and carve in the um the bricks with a foam roller Just need to figure out how high they need to be. So what I was thinking is to make this mausoleum bit removal as well. So I'm going to cut small strips that sit here. They can sit there all around. I can build the walls of the mausoleum against that, but be removable. I'm going to build that up and I'll show you once I'm done with that. For some reason, my the polystyrene is not um, really melting, so I'm happy with that because hot glue works a lot faster. But there we have that. And then against that, I can build up the walls of the actual mausoleum, which are these ones, and then they can be removable. But first, I'm going to remove the paper, and then with this, I can foam roll with my brick roller. I'll apply some texture with some tin foil. I think I'm gonna go with two and a half. Here is my brick wool foam roller. And I'm just gonna roll that over. It works for clay too, I suppose. But. There we have it. They do have some shapes in them. So obviously one of them has a door. Okay, I think I'm just gonna assemble this. So this is basically the top, which I can glue these bits on top of, and then just turn it over and then we've got the mausoleum. So let's, let's cut this out and then attach the walls. There are tiles on the inside, so on this piece of cardboard, I am just going to score that in. Yeah, 
And there we have a tiled floor for the inside. And there's that. Quick and easy. So I need to make some more walls for this. One and two thirds of an inch, which is right there. So I'm just gonna cut some walls, make them a bit taller than the base ones, and then attach them and attach the roof as well. So because I carved the bricks into these bits, I needed to replace them. So I'm replacing them with some balsa wood so I can put the pattern in them. And eventually they will blend in. You'll see. And whilst I'm at it, I might as well do the door as well. Whilst I'll work on putting the mausoleum together, let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Skillshare can help you make 2022 a year of learning, growth and connection through creativity. Do you have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. It's ad-free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. New premium classes are launched each week, so there's always something new to discover. The first 1000 people to use the link in the description box below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. In case you didn't know, there are also classes on Skillshare about game design, game development and painting miniatures like this class by Schwills. It is a great place to start as it covers everything from putting the minis together to all the layers of painting and finishing. Thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. So to build up the base of this um, mausoleum, I am going to apply tissue paper to the outer edge. And the reason I went with tin foil first is because it gives a lot of bulk for not a lot of weight and it works quickly. And now I'm going to apply the tissue paper with some PVA water mixture to blend it all in and build it all out and give it texture. And then I'm going to paint it up towards and add more rocks and all that kind of stuff. So here we go. All right, it's time to work on the legs. I have some pieces of tin foil and I will work on them all at the same time. So they are the same thickness. This is the piece that is the base piece I covered it in Mod Podge because I don't know what kind of materials I'm going to use and I want it to be resistant to any wet materials I'm going to throw at it and maybe even some spray paint once the legs are all done. So this is kind of drying still on the sides but we can make the legs so I'm going to crumple them up kind of make these Dumps. So that's basically what they are. I like so. And I will bulk that up a little bit more and then put some painter's tape on top of that to seal in all the tin foil. And then I can sculpt with. Um, I think I'm gonna use Millipot for this so I don't have to bake it and it just cures overnight and uh, go from there. And there we have four legs. I'm just gonna bulk them out a little bit more and then uh, cover them with painter's tape. All the legs are ready. I have just decided that I'm going to use polymer clay because I do not have enough Millipot. So I have the clay all prepared here. This is all cheap and nasty clay. So the white powder that you see is corn flour to make it less sticky because oh boy, was this sticky. Anyway, I'm going to make pebbles that go on the legs and attach them with some um, liquid sculpey and then I'm gonna bake them.
The forelegs are done and all the white specks that you can see is still a cornflower. I also made some pebbles, rocks, oops, from the leftover polymer clay. It's mainly because I don't really like that polymer clay that I use. It was cheap and nasty polymer clay, so I thought I'd just use it up and make pebbles because I need to attach them anyway. So I am going to attach the legs to this octagon now and build the rest up with tin foil and then over the tin foil i will apply the um, tissue paper again so i can paint it and apply the rocks and moss and if i need to fill in any gaps with rocks and i don't have any leftover rocks i probably just use my milliput clay for that so let's do that Those feet are on and now what I want to do is put the pebbles around the sides so the other platform can just sink in there when I want to place that on top so I don't have to make another lip for it to sit on. So let's, uh, let's start doing that. I'm just going to apply some hot glue and apply some pedal pebbles. And then later I can fill that up, that gap. I can fill it up with moss. That would be, would not be an issue. I'm just gonna do that on every leg. So that kind of blends in. And then I will be adding tin foil to the base and build up the base. And then in, in the middle, there will be a bell. Put a layer of Mod Podge and then the PVC glue and the tissue. Now that this thing is completely painted up, uh, it is time to add all the greenery and the moss. I have various things here and um, I think I'm just gonna have fun with this. Some static grass. I don't have a static grass applicator, but it will be just fine. Some dried tea that can be used as soil, some smaller rocks and various types of moss. So uh, let's do this and then I'll show you the end result. And this is it for building the wandering mausoleum for the game Elden Ring. I really love how it turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see any other odd creatures or characters from any other game.
All my social media can be found in the description box below and if you're new here, welcome! Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos and of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!